this is Mike Parker. I'm the tour director with the Peggy Kirk Bell Girls Golf Tour. Uh, today we're going to talk about the priority-based entry system. Uh, one of the most common questions we get this time of year in particular is, why did I get waitlisted for this tournament? Uh, so I'm going to take you through uh, why we have the system, how it works, uh, hopefully give you some more understanding of uh, which tournaments to select and uh, understand why you've uh, gotten in or been waitlisted for an event. Uh, so first, so again, the why. Why do we have this system? Uh, the priority-based entry exists for the tour to be able to create the strongest fields possible for our championship and largest classic events. Uh, it allows us to select players um, to, again, maximize the strength of field for these tournaments. So how, uh, how is priority determined? Uh, so you've got a mixture. Uh, we use not only the Peggy Kirk Bell Performance Index and your scoring differential on that, uh, but also the Junior Golf Scoreboard National Rankings and your scoring differential there. Uh, that allows us to be able to evaluate not only players that play regularly on the PKB, but players from outside um, our system who may be new to the tour. Uh, so it gives us a way to uh, do a formula of those two ranking systems and your scoring on both. Uh, to be able to evaluate uh, a player's strength. So how does your ranking get calculated? I get that question a lot uh, to try to understand either on the performance index or on your national ranking. Uh, so your, tour, or your ranking is usually a factor of four things. Um, how did you score? Where did you finish? How much was the tournament you played in worth? And did you win? Uh, those are the four things that it's kind of looking at uh, to help move you up and down uh, those systems. Uh, no matter what system you're looking at from a rankings perspective, the number one factor, usually somewhere around 65, 75% of your ranking, is your score. So how you play is always going to be the biggest uh, uh, factor in where your ranking moves up and down. Uh, the big thing to know about uh, scoring is scoring differential is what we're looking at. So it's not just what you shot on that given day, um, but what the difficulty of the course was compared to that score. That's what's called scoring differential. Uh, so for example, a typical course rating for a Bell National event is going to be 75. Uh, even though the par is 72, you're being judged off of how you, how you shot compared to 75. Um, a prep event, it's going to be 72, 73. A futures event, 70, 71 on average uh, throughout the season. So that's trying to create some um, equity uh, based on the difficulty of the golf course that's being played um, throughout the year. So scoring differential, again, is the major factor that you're looking at uh, as how, you, how your ranking is going to move up and down. Uh, but there's also other factors taking into account. How large the tournament you played in was, how, how many players you beat, how good were the players you beat. Strength of field is a factor. Uh, junior golf scoreboard uses a 12-month average of who you play against. So it's always updating. And then one of the nice things is it actually looks back, too. So as a player improves, you get credit for beating that player if you beat them three months ago. Um, and then win bonuses, uh, both our systems and theirs, gives you a little extra credit um, if for winning specific tournaments. So all these factors are kind of creating um, what your, your ranking, what your, your, your resume is, essentially, that we're going to use to determine who gets into any particular event. Um, so gets into then, how do I register? Why did I get waitlisted? So when you go to register for our championship tournaments, if you're on the PKB schedule and you see the icons that list uh, which tournaments are available for Bell players or Prep players or Futures players, uh, they'll have a, a small black letter that says priority underneath it. So anytime you see that, that's going to tell you that that's a priority-based entry event for that field. Um, when you go to register, if you are currently in the top 50 of the performance index, it's going to automatically let you register. So you're able to join any tour, tournament within the tour uh, that you would like at that time. For all other players, it's going to put you on a wait list. Uh, the wait list period is typically going to be about 40 days before the tournament. So you will have up until that date, 40 days prior to the start of the tournament, to say that you are interested in playing in that field. Um, you're going to get waitlisted in the classification that you have. So you'll see something called Class 1 waitlist, which will be all of our players that are, have Class 1 status. Or if you're a prep uh, Class 2 player, then it's going to waitlist you for the prep series. Our Class 3 players will get waitlisted for the future series. 
So when that day comes, so 40 days out, give or take, sometimes 30, depending on the tournament, um, we will run our priority-based entry at that time. Each of the tournaments, when you go to the tournament page, is going to list how many players we're going to accept per division. A uh, typical 90-player tournament is going to have 42 Bell players, 24 Prep, and 24 Futures. That's the typical uh, breakdown in a given event. Uh, so when we get to that priority base close date, uh, we will start to process. We will always work from the uh, highest classification down. Uh, so we're going to always set the Bell National Field first. All players that get accepted will get an email uh, telling you that you've been accepted and it will ask you to register and pay. Uh, one of the nice things about the system is you don't have to pay up front to be considered for the field. You'll just be asked to pay and register once you're accepted. You'll be given a couple days to do that to be able to claim that spot. Uh, once we have set the Bell National Field, any player who's not accepted for that field will automatically be considered for the prep preview field if there's a prep preview field in that event. So all Class 1 players that did not get selected for the Bell field, as well as all Class 2 players who requested uh, consideration for the prep field, would then be considered for those, uh, let's say, 24 prep preview spots. Um, we will keep a wait list. So any player that did not get in initially into the Class 1, into the Bell field, there will still be a wait list there. So even if you are accepted into the prep preview field, you still may get promoted to the Bell field should we get a withdrawal um, of the space becomes available. So you're not losing that to opportunity, but you are still giving the right to play within the prep field. Uh, so we will set the prep field, same situation, we'll email all the players that were accepted, you'll get a chance to pay and, and accept that spot. If you choose not to accept that spot, then you still would remain on the wait list for the bell if that was your choice. Um, otherwise, you'd be removed from the field. And then finally, we would then go to the futures field, any class 2 player that did not get into the prep event, and all of our class 3 players will be evaluated using the same priority based standard. Um, and we will select the players that get into that field. Um, all these events, uh, and especially some of our largest events, some of our big championships coming up and some of our big classics, the Furman event, the uh, Carolina event, are always very popular. Uh, we had 142 entries for the 90 spots last year. Uh, so you do get uh, a lot of these fields that have great demand. Um, so you definitely want to register by those closed dates and get yourself in consideration because most of the time we're going to be on wait list for most of these winter spring tournaments. Um, with the wait lists that we have, those lists we will post those online so you will know that you where you are that you are on the wait list. And again, we'll contact you directly should a spot become available. Um, so, quick summary, uh, the priority-based system is, exists so we can guarantee the highest strength of fields for these tournaments. Um, the big reason for that is our top players, those who are getting to the highest levels of competitive junior golf, uh, the strength of field is a big factor that uh, will further their development as far as exposure for colleges, their ranking, and otherwise. So we're allow this is what's allowing these fields to continue to grow in their strength and popularity. Um, your priority is determined mostly by how you've played over the past 12 months and then some other factors, strength of field, uh, quality of field that are influencing that. Um, and then when you're registering, don't worry that you've been waitlisted. That just means you're going to be put into consideration. Those fields are going to get set 30 to 40 days out uh, from the start of the tournament. It's going to give you plenty of time to put, make your travel uh, accommodations and otherwise. Um, and then... Uh, you know, you'll, those that do not get in will get put on wait lists um, should uh, spots become open. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you soon.